Hola, Ron Perlman here, and hello, Sci-Fi World. Good to be with you. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, we know that you started a, a new challenge in your life with a production company. Um, I want to know what kind of films, movie, do you want to do? The only thing that ever has mattered to me is the writing. You know, uh, everything begins and ends on the page. Um, screenwriting is is the key, and I, I can't I can't explain to you what I'm looking for, but I know it when I see it. What it is is you begin to read page one. You have no idea where you're at. You're in a completely original world. You can't wait to get to page two, and if it stays that way all the way to the end, and you're involved with not only a world that's original and fascinating, but also characters that you can imagine are living in real life, but people who you've never met before, that I'm automatically interested. Sometimes uh, just a script where there's nothing for me to do but produce, I'm very happy with that. And sometimes there's gonna be a character in there that I say, oh shit, I have to play this guy. And then I produce, and like Asher, you know, Asher was sent to me as an actor, uh, but I really wanted to produce Asher because I actually could see the movie in my head, very evocative, very stylized, very cinematic, and I wanted to be part of the team that helped realize it. There have to, for sure, there have to, there must be a, a new project that we just read in these months that you are ardent desire to see the, the final film. There must be one of those projects that we, perhaps maybe you can share with us. I'm reading things all the time. Um, there's four or five things right now that I'm pushing up the hill in order to get into production. Um, we've now produced in five years about nine movies. And so we're transitioning to the next phase of the production company. We went broke making Asher. So we're raising more money and we're reading more material and we're segueing towards television production as well as small movie production. And we're looking at bigger movies. And you know, so the company is in transition. The thing that's great about being here with Asher at Sitches is it's, it's, it's the beginning of, of, of a new chapter, but it's also the end of the original chapter. Because Asher was the first movie we ever greenlit that we were going to produce. And so what we presented here yesterday for the first time in public was the culmination of five years of dreaming. What, what were the main difficulties working as an actor, as a producer in general, and this movie in particular? Well, the producer has a lot more problems than the actor. By the time you get to act your performance in a movie that you're producing, you've been through five world wars. <laughs> and this was no different. We, we were scheduled to begin Asher uh, two years ago in the fall. And we were in pre-production and something happened where the, the rest of the money didn't arrive and we had to shut down and uh, it was disastrous and we thought we would never resume again and then six months later we were able to put it back on track and finally make the film um, all that happened with a complete crew with a director everybody's in hotels everybody's getting ready to show up for their first day of work i haven't even had the luxury of thinking of myself as Asher yet, because I'm so busy trying to just fucking hold the fucking shit together. And uh, I didn't really start thinking about Asher until the night before we started filming. Like, okay, now I have to play this motherfucker. And, uh, you know, the last thing was the acting part. We need to finish, but if you can tell us in five, just five words, Describe your relation with Guillermo del Toro, which will be that five words. Two guys that love to eat. <laughs> okay.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, please. I just have.